Knock and knock. 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 And keep. Knock. the apostles came in in power. Everybody believed. Even he believed. And then he said, I want what you have. I got some money, and I'll give you some money if you can give me what you have so I can impart gifts to people. And here, I got big bucks to pay for this. And they said, no. No. This is not something that you can buy. And your motivation is evil. Because it's not to elevate ourselves, it's to lift up the broken and to give food to the hungry. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. You are so faithful and you know what you've gotten into. Broken vessels, Father, and you are faithful to work through broken vessels that don't know what the heck they're doing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <coughs> Hallelujah. Mishkan David is just is an honest place. <laughs> Mishkan David is an honest place. We are not looking for a religious experience. Yes. Right. We're not looking to get all dressed up right. and to sing some hymns or whatever it is, or say some liturgy, and go home. Mishkan David is a lot just like how we feel. Yeah. We're just busted up. Yeah. But Adonai works through the busted up. And he doesn't say, unbust up yourself and heal yourself, and then I'll work through you. Adonai knew what he was getting into. He knew we were busted up before we were busted up. Yep. <laughs> Yet, he loves us. Amen. Yet, Amen. he works through us. And while we feel we may not have any gifts, he works through us. A friend comes to you for prayer, and all you can say is, <laughs> and Adonai is faithful, is faithful, because his faith is beyond what we can comprehend. Thank you, Father. Oh, Rabbi, can you pray for me? Sure, what do you want me to pray for you about? I don't want to tell you. I just want you to pray. <laughs> pray as you're led. Oh, God. <laughs> now what do I pray? It's easier when you know, because then you're like, your mind, like, okay, this is what they're dealing with, so I'm just going to pray in that direction. No, 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 I'm not going to tell you. Just pray. 
Like, oh God, what do I do? What do I say? What do I say? Maybe I'll just keep it generic. Oh God loves you. <laughs> maybe I'll be generic. I'll just be generic about it. Or maybe I'll step out and say something. I have no idea if it was the right thing or not. <laughs> but Adonai is faithful. Because if you do go, blah, 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 blah. he is faithful. If you're saying, blah, 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 with pureness of heart and a love for him and an acknowledgement that he is greater than your ability to pray, then he works it out. Yeah. Amen. And he works it out. Thank you, Lord. Yet. He said, Hallelujah. ask for the greater gifts. Yeah. He says, ask for a gift of prophecy. He says, ask for a gift of tongues. He says, ask for a gift of faith. He says to the faithful, ask for a gift of teaching. He says to the teacher, ask for a faith, a, 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 a gift of of encouragement, exhortation. Mm -hmm. He says to the encourager to ask for the gift of discernment. Mm -hmm. And he says to the one who discerns, ask for the gift of wisdom. Mm -hmm. And he says to the one who has wisdom, ask for the gift of knowledge. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. This day, I ask mm -hmm. For you to give. Hallelujah. Gifts. Thank you, Lord. Mm -hmm. You are not a father who will tell us to learn how to swing a baseball bat mm -hmm. or catch a ball mm -hmm. without giving us a bat mm -hmm. or a glove. Mm -hmm. So today, Father, we ask, we ask <coughs> all good gifts come from above. Ask, and you shall receive. Seek ye first the kingdom of God, and all things will be given Hallelujah. unto you. Yep. Hallelujah. Father, In that order. we are broken, Hallelujah. and the world is broken. Hallelujah. Father, so we ask you, Adonai, to equip your broken tents, yes. Father, with your gifts, <coughs> so your love and your power and your glory can be manifest, Father. For you rejoice, although you rejoice, when you raise up and you heal and you deliver your child through your servants being faithful to just go blah, 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 blah. Thank you. Father, you say to ask, ask. So today, in this place, in the witness of these vessels, I ask, Father, for gifts of the Spirit, Father. And we know, or maybe we don't know, that there is a connection between the gifts of the Spirit and this. And I don't know exactly what that means, but I know that Adonai said the greatest gift is love. Yeah. And in the Torah it says the greatest commandment yes. is love. love. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. The greatest yes. gift is love. And Messiah said the greatest commandment is to love one another. Mm. Love your neighbor as yourself and love God with all your heart, with all your soul, Hallelujah. with all your strength. And we know that the gifts of the Spirit is directly related to the giving of the Torah on Shavuot. Yes. We know that there is a direct correlation with the giving of the Spirit that happened in the book of Acts and the giving of the Torah. We know that. We know there is a correlation.
communication between the gift of tongues and not a nice speaking from the mountain and everybody hearing his voice and understanding. And we know there's a correlation between the gift of prophecy and God saying at the mountain, I will raise up a prophet among you. And that is you, Messiah, in you is that prophet. Thank you. So the gifts of the Spirit are directly related to the Torah. Yes. And I don't have it yet to fully comprehend exactly what that means. But I tell you what I do know and what I do feel that Adam and I told me is that it is directly related to Torah. How that evolves, how that manifests as he continues to speak that reality, I will wait for that reality. So, Father, in this place, we ask for gifts, Father. <laughs> because we are tired. We are tired, Adonai, of trying to fix in our human strength. We are tired of trying to fix in our human strength, Father. When a spirit of prophecy comes through us, it is not human strength that is ministering through us, Father. So we ask for a spirit of prophecy, Father. Not for everybody, for whoever you so choose in your body. We ask, Adonai, for wisdom, Father. Not wisdom of this world. You did not raise up a body of psychologists. <laughs> You are far above that, Adonai. So we ask, Adonai, we ask for wisdom. We ask, Adonai, for knowledge. Not knowledge that this world has. Not knowledge that we can go to school for. Not knowledge that we can go to seminary for. Not knowledge that we can flaunt the free that we got. Humans that the world does not know. Yes. Hallelujah. That's the knowledge we ask for. Knowledge that the world doesn't know. Yes. Knowledge that we don't know. That's right. Hallelujah. Learnings. That's right. <coughs> we ask for it, Adonai. We are just a microcosm here of your body. Father, so pour out spirits, pour out the gifts of the spirits, Father, in this place according to your perfect plan, and yeah. rise up your vessels, Adonai, to manifest the gifts which are in Messiah, yeah. who is in us according to your perfect plan, and according to your perfect will, and according to your perfection. Bring it, brother. Yeah. No, that's right. Woo, hallelujah. Yeah. Wow, yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. Great. Thank you, Father. I do not ask this. And I do not ask for an adrenaline rush. I ask with humbleness. Mm -hmm. To impart gifts to us, Father. We ask God and I for a gift of healing. Hallelujah! To heal those who are hurting. To heal those who need healing, Father. And we don't ask for an adrenaline rush. We don't ask, Father, for a momentary thing where we feel like something. And then later on that night, we're like, oh, what happened? Hallelujah! Father, we humbly, humbly, humbly ask Adonai for your gifts to be poured out. We ask for a gift of healing. We ask for a word of knowledge. We ask for a word of wisdom. We ask for a word of prophecy. We ask for an interpretation of tongues. We ask for tongues. We ask for teaching, Adonai. We ask for exhortation, Adonai. And the grace.
greatest thing we ask is for love. love. Hallelujah! Which is the foundation. And just as it was said that love is the foundation of the Torah and all the mitzvot, the commandments are built upon it. The greatest of these gifts is love. Because without them, and if we have it, it's as if the foundation is taken away. And it right. falls. Yes. And love is the foundation. So we ask for love. The greatest gift, Father, and the greatest commandment. Thank you, Father. You knew what you were getting into when you called us, when you called us by name. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. We silence voices that, Hallelujah. Speak, that he did not know what he's doing, that he made a mistake. We silence voices that say that you are not able to be used by the Lord. Right. Yes. We silence those voices in Yeshua's yes. name, yes. in Yeshua's authority, yes. as Yeshua. <laughs> we silence those voices that we all wrestle with, that we all get pounded with. And we are grateful, Adonai, that you are not moved. And you are not shaken. All things that can be will be shaken, but the Lord will not be moved. Hallelujah. 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 It's been spoken over this place that we are Echad with Yeshua. And the glory given to him, he has given to us. And if we have a problem with that, just read the scriptures. That's all that is. Adonai, manifest that reality through us, Adonai. Manifest Mashiach through us, Adonai. The one who has all the gifts resides within us, Father. So hallelujah, we ask, Father. We ask, Father. We ask. We ask, Father. Just as the veil has been rent, Father, we ask, God and I, that the manifestation of yourself, Father, even as we bring forth our gifts mm -hmm. to you, Father, may the revelation of the ripped veil in the tabernacle be a reality, Father, because the tabernacle mm -hmm. is the place of atonement mm. and the greatest mm. gift is the gift of your son mm. and salvation mm. father yeah. thank you father mm. thank you father mm. thank you father reveal out and i reveal 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 mm. reveal remove the veil father over the face of your son that makes him unrecognizable out and i even as Joseph was unrecognizable by his Jewish brothers until the veil was removed and then he became recognizable as the Savior, as the one to bring salvation, as the one that had the food to feed during the drought. Father, remove the veil over your son within us, Father, and remove the veil. Hallelujah! Clearly, even in ourselves, Father, because we're still looking through that mirror dimly. Clean that mirror, Father. Make it clearer, Father. So we see the manifestation of your Son through us. And we know Adonai, and I know that when you look through the mirror yourself, you see our face. That's reality. Because we are made in your image. So when you look at us, you see yourself. And when we don't see that, we're not seeing clearly. Give us the gift, Father, of seeing you in our face. Give us the gift of seeing your face in us, Father. 
and silence out of night the voices that we wrestle with, Father. Silence them, Father. Silence them, Father. And we're grateful. We're grateful that you are faithful. Pour out the gift of faith, Father. Pour out the gift of faith. And that doesn't mean, okay, I'm now really faithful. It means you're faithful for others who can't see beyond the circumstance. Adonai, pour out a gift of faith. So when we are with somebody and they come for prayer just for anything or just have coffee with us, we have faith beyond what that vessel is capable of seeing right now, Father. The gift of faith we ask for is not so we can be so faithful. <laughs> The gift of faith is so we can encourage those who have no faith. Hallelujah. And it's not a gift of prophecy. It's not a gift of wisdom. It's a gift of faith. It's saying to somebody, I don't see it. I don't see it. I don't see what this is going to look like. If you did, that would be prophecy. If you told them what was going on without knowing, that would be a gift of wisdom or knowledge. The gift of faith is to say to a broken vessel, I don't see it. I don't know how this is going to turn out, but I know it's going to turn out good. Hallelujah. And I know he's going to be glorified through it. And I see that. I don't have the gift to see the details, but I have the gift of the faith for you to know that it's going to be all right. It's going to be okay. It's going to... It's gonna be all right. It's gonna be all right. It's gonna be okay. okay. He's gonna turn it all around. Turn it all around. <laughs> Wait and see. Yeah. That's the gift of faith. Yeah. Don't give up. Uh, don't, don't give in. in. If you don't quit, you you'll win. win. Never quit. You'll, you'll win. win. Don't give up. And don't give in. If you don't quit, you'll win. You'll win. win. You'll win. Yes, it's going to turn it all around. Just wait and see. This is faith speaking. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All these gifts are for others. It's for the ones who are lost ones who are wandering, the ones that can't find their way, the ones that feel that they're in a dark room, pounding the walls, saying, where is the evidence of this thing? I can't see it. When we ask for gifts, it's for them. It's not for you. When we ask for ourselves in a haughty way, Adam and I will bring up those people in the scripture who got killed yeah. for asking things with the wrong heart. Right. It's for others. It's for others. It's not just so we can be more holy. He's already holy through us. It's not so we can do more things. He's done everything for us. It's for the broken. What are you going to do? Prophesy over yourself? Hey, maybe you will. Maybe you will. That doesn't sound so bad. But it is for the broken. And maybe we are the broken that the word of prophecy will come forth for. Thank you, Father. But it is for the broken. It's not just so we can be more holy. Because mm -hmm. Adonai will work through the blah, blah, blahs. His will will be done on the earth as it is in heaven. We ask for wisdom so we can impart his wisdom to others. We ask for faith so we can have faith for those who have no faith. We ask for wisdom so we can be wise for those who cannot be wise. We ask for a gift of exhortation and encouragement so we can be an encouragement to those who cannot find encouragement and don't have it within themselves to be encouraging even to themselves. Father, so we lift up this prayer to you. We lift up this prayer. Operate in your body, Adonai. 
with gifts that you are faithful to give. Because us, we're all messed up. We won't give a stone to our son if he asks for a piece of bread. How much more will our Father in Heaven give when we ask? Amen. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah.